Hi, this is Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll in North Carolina State University, and I'm here with my 86-year-old mother, and she's going to help me answer questions from you, the viewers. First question is from Dave in Alabama, and he says, Rick, because we've had this really cold winter, does that mean I need to expect or anticipate using fire ant baits much later in the spring after things warm up and the, and the fire ants get, get rolling? And the answer to that is, is not necessarily. Uh, cold weather is cold weather to insects and uh, just because the winter's been really cold that doesn't tell us anything about what late March and April is going to be like and those are really the months where things get up and rolling so we'll just have to wait and see and if it's a warm March and April uh, you're going to need to be out there on time. Okay second question is from uh, Leroy in Arizona and he said Rick you really seem to be just an outstanding fine young man. Is this true and if so who's responsible? And mom I think that's a great question for you to answer. Yes, he is a fine young man, and I'm responsible. Okay, great answer, Mom. Okay, question number three. Dr. Brandenburg. Whoa, that's, that's pretty formal for me. Dr. Brandenburg, and this is from uh, Dan in Kentucky. He said, since it's been such a cold winter, and, and in many areas the soil's been frozen, does this mean we won't see any white grubs next year, or this year, later this year? And the answer to that is no. Uh, as I've mentioned so often, insects are very resilient. They have a number of adaptations which allow them to survive under harsh conditions. And we get white grubs surviving in Canada. So a, a cold winter in, um, in Kentucky would be a balmy winter in Canada. So don't anticipate the winter to really have much of any impact on, on white grub populations unless you've had areas where it's been just extremely wet this winter. Okay, third question is from, uh, or fourth question, excuse me, is from Sid in New Jersey. And he says, Rick, with all these videos you have, it seems like you're gaining rock star status. Is this true, and if so, who's responsible? Mom, seems like another good question for you to answer. Yes, he is a rock and roll star, and I'm responsible. Great answer, Mom. I need to bring you around more often. <laughs> and we'll do one more here. Final question from Tim in Indiana. And he says, Rick, because we've had such a cold winter, does this mean everything's going to be late this spring? And again, the answer to that is no, because uh, whether it's a mild winter, a normal winter, or a cold winter, it's still cold to most insects in, in many parts of the world during the wintertime. So no development takes place whatsoever. And again, it really depends on what happens in March, April, and May as to whether or not insect problems are going to occur ahead of time or behind schedule. And since they're often driven by temperatures, if we have a warm spring, then things are going to be ahead of schedule. So don't let this winter trick you into, into being uh, a little bit slack in, in monitoring the insect pest. So uh, that's it for now. We'll try to answer some more of these questions sometime in the near future. I want to thank my mom. And uh, mom, you can take these and go back to your room now. Thank Thanks you. a lot.